DWP destroyed reports into people who killed themselves after benefits were stopped. Here's a summary of the article. The Department for Work and Pensions has been accused of a cover-up after destroying reports into suicides linked to benefits being stopped. The sister of Tim Salter, a benefit claimant who killed himself soon after his benefits were stopped in 2013, accused the DWP of trying to cover up what was happening to vulnerable people. Mr. Timms, who said his committee would demand answers about the shredded reports, pointed out a scathing National Audit Office report had warned the DWP was unable to show it was learning lessons. Up to 49 internal reviews carried out before 2015 have been destroyed. A Freedom of Information response to a campaigner revealed, the BBC reported. Mr. Salter had been left partially sighted by a previous suicide attempt and had mental health conditions, but was found fit for work and had his benefits cut back drastically nine months before his death. This week, Labour MP Debbie Abrahams fought back tears in the Commons as she read out a list of 24 people who died after problems with their benefits. In a statement, the DWP said, We take these reviews extremely seriously and ensure cases are investigated and concluded and any lessons learned. This post received a score of 35,891, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I work with a charity that supports people with medical disabilities. There have been substantial increases in people being denied payments for trivial reasons, and this can have dire impacts on the quality of a person's life and mental health when they're unable to work. I got a phone call which I missed and was apparently telling me to go in the next day. The next day comes and I get a call I am there for which asks why I haven't come in and threatening a sanction, I say you never called and told me. They respond with you didn't answer and we don't leave messages on answer phones. I was thankfully only unemployed a few months before back in full-time employment. I can only imagine how life long-term on benefits must suck. Last time I was on Job Seekers, I had my allowance revoked because I didn't attend a meeting I was scheduled for. I received no phone calls, the only notice I got was a letter the day after the meeting. The notice was on display, in the basement, with no lights and no stairs, in the back of a disused lavatory with a sign on the door saying, Beware of the Leopard. All the planning charts and demolition orders have been on display at your local planning department in Alpha Centauri for 50 of your Earth years, so you've had plenty of time to lodge any formal complaint and it's far too late to start making a fuss about it now. In fairness 50 years is a hell of a long grace period. Tell that to the Vogon Intergalactic Bypass. That was immediately rendered obsolete by the Infinite Improbability Drive and Bistromathics later. It was rendered obsolete before Earth was destroyed. Ford even mentions this while they are on the constructor ship, during the discussion about tact. Ford, ah, but that was all done away with centuries ago. No one demolishes planets anymore. You later find out that the Vogans were bribed into demolishing the planet by the Intergalactic Psychologists' Union, as if the question and answer to life, the universe, and everything, was suddenly known, then people wouldn't be as stressed out anymore, and that would hurt their business. This is also why the Vogans are chasing the heart of gold, to get Arthur, and ensure the answer isn't recovered from him. Yeah, Gag Hafrin kind of was a dick, wasn't he? Babylon 5 springs to mind, and this is down below, a lot of people wind up here after they run out of money. Kind of like the homeless problem back on Earth. Earth doesn't have a homeless problem. Since when? Since we rewrote the dictionary. President Clark has offered a job to anyone who wants one. Therefore, anyone who doesn't take the offer must want to stay that way. Sounds like the DWP me. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.